Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given quartic equation x power 4 minus 4x minus 1 equals to 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Since we are dealing with the power 4 over here, so we are going to manipulate uh, this equation. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square. And if I assume that a is x square and b is 1, then this equation could be written as x square plus 1 whole square equals to x square and then whole square plus 2 times x square times 1 plus 1 square. And now if we simplify this x square and square is going to give us uh, x power 4 plus 2x square plus 1. And now we are going to isolate x power 4 by moving this 2x square and 1 on the other side. So x power 4 turns out to be this whole thing. So therefore I am going to replace uh, this x power 4 by this whole Thing. So let me go ahead and write down x plus x square plus 1 whole square minus 2x square minus 1 and then we are going to copy down this thing as well negative 4x minus 1 equals to 0 and now we can see that this negative 1 and negative 1 they combine each other. And here's our equation after combining like terms and putting them in descending order. And now we can see that negative 2 is in common among all these three terms. So therefore I factored out negative 2 and inside this parenthesis we got x squared plus 2x plus 1. And now let's recall this famous identity once again a plus b whole square. We are going to apply on this part and this uh, polynomial could be written as uh, x plus 1 whole square. And now let's move this term on the right hand side. So we can write this thing x square plus 1 whole square turns out to be equal to positive 2 times x plus 1 whole square. Now let's take the square root on both sides to undo those squares. So therefore the left hand side this square and square root they undo each other. So we ended up with x square plus 1 equals to positive or negative. This is going to give us square root of 2 times this square and square root they undo each other. So we got x plus 1. And now let's go ahead and split these positive and negative signs. So we can write this one as x square plus 1 equals to square root of 2 times x plus 1. And the other value is going to be x square plus 1 equals to negative square root of 2 times x plus 1. And here we got these two cases and we are going to study both of these cases in next few steps. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, case 1 and let's focus on this equation. Let's go ahead and distribute this one first. So that is going to give us x square plus 1 equal to square root of 2 times x plus square root of 2. Now let's move everything on the left hand side. And here we have moved everything on the left hand side. Now let's go ahead and rearrange these terms. We're going to combine these constant terms. And here's our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic formula. And here's our quadratic formula that we will be using to solve this quadratic equation. Now let's go ahead and solve for x by just filling in the blanks in this quadratic formula for a, b and c values. So we are going to have x equal to minus and b is negative square root of 
to plus or minus square root of a negative square root of 2 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 1 minus square root of 2 divided by 2 times a is 1 and now if we simplify everything our x value turns out to be equal to square root of 2 plus or minus square root of 4 times square root of 2 minus 2 everything is divided by 2 and now we are going to split these signs positive and negative signs and here are our two solutions one with a positive sign and one with a negative sign and if we put in a decimal notation our x value is approximately turns out to be 1.663 for this and for this value of x our approximate decimal value turns out to be x is approximately equal to negative 0.249 now let's go ahead and focus on this case 2 when our x square plus 1 equal to negative square root of 2 times x plus 1 now let's go ahead and distribute negative square root of 2 over here so we are going to get x square plus 1 equal to negative square root of 2 times x minus square root of 2 now let's go ahead and move everything on the left hand side and now we are going to combine these constant terms so let's go ahead and write down in descending order x square plus square root of 2 times x plus 1 plus square root of 2 equals to 0 now we can see that this is our quadratic equation where our a value is 1 b value is square root of 2 and c value is 1 plus square root of 2 and now let's recall this quadratic formula and let's focus on this radicant b square minus 4ac and this radicant b square minus 4ac is called discriminant we are going to find the value of this discriminant b square minus 4ac by just plugging in all these a b and c values so let's go ahead and just fill in the blanks so b in our case square root of 2 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 1 plus square root of 2 and here when we simplify everything it turns out to be the discriminant negative 2 minus 4 times square root of 2 which is obviously less than 0 that means it is a negative number and here's our discriminant chart and we can see that our discriminant is negative as you can see over here so that means we have no real solutions we can see that no real solution exists for this uh, case uh, 2 so therefore case 2 has been rejected so therefore these are our only valid values for x and here are our two solutions as you can see over here and in terms of decimal x is approximately equal to 1.663 and the other value is uh, negative 0.249 as you can see in this graph if we plot these values they are consistent thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye